this is a fun day. And I'm going to tell you why it's a fun day. I got me and two other guys are building a fire. Actually, as you can see, we've already built a fire. And this fire is comprised of all the junk that was over there and over there and over there. I mean, there's a lot of junk around here. And the best thing to do it is just clean it up, put it in a pile, light her up, and watch her go. Because it's garbage. Got no use anymore. I mean, there was a time that it had a use, but... And you know what? If it had been preserved, maybe it could have been used again. But instead of taking care of it, um, it became useless. Now it's going in the, into the fire. I mean, there's a lot of connections we can be making there. But one of the things that I'm thinking about is our giftedness and our abilities. And a lot of times, um, we just don't use them. And because we don't use them, we don't use the gifts that God's called us or given to us. We don't use the talents that he's put in us. And for whatever reason, we sideline them. Um, we get used to not using them and a lot of times they become garbage and useless and they end up in a place like the fire. See, this is the Bible talks about um, everything that we do is going to be tested by fire. Um, whether it be gold, silver, precious stones, which melt, change form, but they still remain gold, silver, precious stones. If anything, they get purified. Um, or wood, hay, and stubble. Now, I'm telling you right now, the wood and the stubble and well the hay that was underneath it it went up pretty quick and it continues to go up pretty quick and not only that not only does it go up pretty quick it um then takes other things that wouldn't burn so well and causing them to burn causing them to melt see if god has given you a gift if god has given you a calling one of the worst things that you could ever do for your life one of the worst things that you could ever do that's going to kill your joy kill your fulfillment kill your purpose kill your meaning is to walk away from the gift that god has given to you one of the things that in churches people find it easy just to sit in the pew but god says i've gifted you for the building up of the church and that's where your fulfillment is a lot of times we miss out on what god has for us and a lot of times we miss out on our a lot of our relationship with god because we just don't do what God's created us to do. And one of the things about and our intimacy and our relationship with God and walking with God, we walk best with God in the way that he has created us to walk. And that's through the spiritual gifts. So my encouragement to you is really spend some time in prayer asking God, what is it that you've called me to do? What is my purpose here? What is, um, what is my gift? And, and if I haven't been using it, God, stir up that gift in me so I'll... I'll want to use it. I'll desire to use it. And I'll, you'll find fulfillment and purpose and the joy that God has for you in your life. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and you might have it to the full. And then he left a spirit who will guide us in all truth. And then out of that spirit grows the fruit of the spirit. And within all those things, God says, I give you a spiritual gift. And that spiritual gift is to give you life. So, hope that's been an encouragement to you. God bless you.